Now, Belinda, you've got more on that, and I'm gonna eat some food. Yeah, joining us now is Eric Gaucher, owner of EJ's Urban Eatery, and he's here with Sharon Payne from Brocateur Casey to show us how we can actually take part in this great event. So my first question is for you, Eric. What made you guys decide to be a major sponsor for Brocateur 2019? Well, when my partner, Chef John Smith, and I met two amazing women, one of them sitting right to my left, uh -huh. Sharon Payne, and Michelle Carter from Her Life Magazine, and we learned about Brock Couture, we knew that we had to get involved. Besides being one of the owners at EJ's Urban Eatery, in my other part of my work life, I'm in the financial services industry. And what I see on a day-to-day -day basis, unfortunately, is when people don't have a good financial plan or they don't have income protection, the devastation that can come to someone or a family when someone gets ill, and unfortunately, you know, that's reality. And so when we met Sharon Payne and Michelle Carter and we learned about Brock Couture and what it was doing here in the local community, we knew we had to be involved. Okay. Well, you know what, Sharon, this question goes for you, but it's also for everyone at home. Um, how can people actually become sponsors for this 2019 event? Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you so much for choosing Brock Couture KC as a part of Take 5 to mm -hmm. Care. We're so excited to be a part of that for 2019. Um, we are also very fortunate that we sell out every year at our event. Mm -hmm. I mean, we sell out at 12 to 1300 people, so ticket sales has always gone really well for us, but we want to now really orient Kansas City businesses and corporations about how to become a sponsor for Brock Couture KC. So we have various different categories for them to participate in. Eric is going to be, EJ is going to be a $15,000 sponsor, which, wow, I mean, we're really blown away about that, that level of and, participation. And we're looking at Brock Couture yes. past years right now. It's yes. amazing. Yes. Um, those are breast cancer survivors who walk the runway, mm -hmm. um, really celebrating their survivorship after they've gone through, you know, the, the scare of, you know, almost losing their lives. And what is so magical about it is that they're, they're there on that runway with their friends and family, mm -hmm. cheering them on and celebrating. And so the event itself is very, very powerful. Sounds empowering. Yes, it is. It is. And we have a lot of women tell us about how it, they felt renewed as a woman as a result of walking that runway because we have hairstylists and makeup artists and you saw the pictures and how beautiful they are. It's so wonderful. Now, yeah. We also want to ask you before we go, what does this actually go to support? What's the money used for? Well, that's what we are very, very proud of. We launched this initiative, or I launched this initiative with the University of Kansas Cancer Center, uh, what will be nine years ago. But wow. we raised so much money, and we began to realize, I began to realize that we needed to reach other underserved communities throughout the greater Kansas City area. So now we have a center for uninsured and underinsured patients at Truman Medical Center. We just opened a new one this summer in honor of Verda Salberg, who's from the KCTV5 family and somebody that we love dearly. We opened Verda's place at the Sarah Cannon Cancer Center at Research Hospital, so that underserved community in and around Swope Park. Park. We also this year added 200 free mammogram screenings where we take party buses into underserved communities and pick up between 35 to 50 women and take them what for their mammogram screenings, which in some cases could be their first mammogram, mm -hmm. mammogram screening, excuse me. And then if we do find any kind of an abnormality with a, one of those women, we fast track them for care to uh, Truman Medical Center or North Kansas City Hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, then we also just added classes that we're going to be conducting at uh, Research Medical Center and through Virtus Place and at, at Truman Hospital on, it's called Renew and Ignite. And so that's just working with patients to help them look beautiful. Well, Sharon, thank you so much. Eric, of course, also for being a part of this. Take five to care and take part in Brock Couture. It's Saturday, April 12th. The VIP experience kicks off at six in the evening. Doors open for general admission at seven. That runway show, it's all at eight, and it takes place at the signature hangar at the downtown airport. For more information, go to kctv5.com and click Take Five to Care.